Well, when it comes to Eastfield College, but mainly colleges throughout the entire nation, I think that they should start thinking of themselves the same way that universities think of themselves because a lot of students come here and though it is a two-year university, some are here longer than that and we should build that culture and have students excited to come and be part of something bigger than themselves. I think Eastfield needs to do a better job of promoting uh, the student athletics around here. Uh, I personally am a pretty big fan of the basketball team around here, but not a lot of people know about them or when they play. I believe the Eastfield specifically should start a more affordable daycare service. They should add more parking some way. I think uh, colleges should start having more health and fitness programs uh, like yoga and jogging. Uh, it's providing more education for people to learn more, more options. I'd like to start uh, seeing um, more uh, maternity leave options. In education, I think that we should bring back an appreciation for the classics and great books. There's an actual student coming to the U.S. I've been here for three years. I've been learning a lot from, from the greatness of this um, system. But one thing that is lacking is that um, the inclusiveness and the easiness for other culture and other students from other parts of the country, I mean, of, the, of the, the world to come here and learn from the great things that the U.S. stands for. I believe Eastfield College should start a study abroad program where we send our students to different countries so they can have a fulfilling education experience and also for us to house and educate students from across different countries as well. The first thing I think schools should start doing is focusing on creativity and not on stagnating it. I think there should be a time, like on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, when there are absolutely no classes scheduled for an hour, hour and a half, so that the whole college could do things like club meetings, or if we had dance performances, or stuff like that. We just need, we just need a time when people can meet, they can just hang out. I think it'd be uh, better for the community here. I think that we should look at some food diversity on the Eastfield campus. More than one choice for people is always gonna be a good thing. I think uh, community colleges and Eastfield specifically should add at least one more restaurant or a place to eat because Subway is not doing it for me. I'd also like to start offering healthy and affordable options for food here at the college um, and even open it up to the community so they can be welcomed here on the campus. I think we need more places to eat besides just Subway. I love Subway, don't get me wrong, but I think we need choice. I think choice would be really good. Uh, I don't drink coffee, but I think a Starbucks, oh my God, wouldn't that be cool? You guys could really spend your hard-earned money there with a the Starbucks. I really think that we should start blending uh, disciplines, but I really do wish because I think that there are there are ethical questions that we should be asking in biology classes. So why aren't philosophy and biology taught together? You know, it just to me it seems like these disciplines all bleed into each other, and I don't think that they should be separate from one another. English and speech share so many linkages. Start. Uh, they should start pushing students to get the Pell Grant first with their first options they can get it. I think community colleges should start helping a lot with um, financial aid for unresourceful students such as like uh, undocumented students or anything like that because uh, me personally I tried to file in for FAFSA for the last four semesters and just this last semester they actually helped me. Okay, so I think colleges should start uh, giving financial aid to uh, illegal students like not illegal but uh who doesn't have like a social or something because it's limited and some people don't get that financial aid and they want to keep studying but it's just hard to pay all that tuition for themselves they should um lower tuition definitely or even um stand, make it free like other states like new york free lunch like a, like a lunch system we had in high school. I sit in class all day and I'm pretty hungry. And I'm pretty broke because I'm a college student. 
I also think that they should come up with a, a better way for older people to get their education. You've been out of school for 30, 35 years and you are tossed into this TSI test with things you never ever studied. And I feel like the transition between high school and college are different. So I would like to start to see a change when it comes to the transition. Making it smoother, maybe changing the classes, the way they flow, so that when you get in college, it's not like you've just been dropped in a whole new world. So what I think education should start doing is making college more of a priority. We have a lot of students that are in like high school that don't understand their options right after high school. What sh we should start doing is start paying better attention to the needs of our community. Start uh, doing a better job making sure that more of our students and more of the people out in the community who are not currently pursuing an education get into an education that can prepare them to work middle-class sustaining jobs in the 21st century. I suppose finding a better way to support the students that come to college because many people think that it's a waste of money. And finally, um, as far as starting, I think that we can start reaching out to the community differently because there are people who believe that online college in your PJs.com or whatever is uh, just as comparable of an education as that which you receive uh, in publicly funded institutions and I don't, I don't agree with that. I think when it comes to education we have to start focusing on so many different elements of what education is. Uh, too often uh, I think we, we associate education with a business degree uh, and, or even an English degree or a history degree and so much of education can be do you have a skill that you can use to better yourself, better your community and so we've got to start pushing that onto these uh, young impressionable minds that, that success with respect to education doesn't involve necessarily getting a master's degree in something it could be becoming an expert in a field and going out and doing something with that. Well, I think that you have a lot of people who grow up in a system where maybe their parents aren't, um, you know, making the type of money that ineligible, well, eligible for them to go to college. And I think that that's something that we should really work on. Maybe our counselors and everybody utilizing the resources that we have so they have the opportunity to go to college and better themselves. I think we should start putting pressure on the system itself to improve the product that uh, is presented to us in college uh, rather than giving tests to to our high school students as barriers to getting out we should actually give them the skills that those tests really fail to to measure i think we need to to uh, follow up with our graduates and the people that get certificates and see how they're doing uh, i think it'd be really cool if we could have like a, a, a kind of a homecoming day where we could invite people back we could we could feed them we could uh we could actually uh have panels for them on what to do at their graduation, how to write resumes, how to find jobs. We can invite employers in to talk to these people because they will be graduating hopefully in a year or two after they finish here. One thing we have to stop doing with education is uh, we have to stop this idea that certain courses are not important. Uh, too often we hear people say whether it's of a community college or even in dual credit classes, go ahead and take them now to get them out of the way. That's what we hear a lot from these students and I think what we do there is we limit what a student can learn or we limit that thirst for knowledge and what we what we miss out on is an opportunity to expose these individuals to, uh, to a variety of ways of thinking and new ideas that they would have never considered before. The thing I think community colleges should stop doing is selling themselves short. Um, I know that some folks might think that this is kind of, it's not real college or anything like that, but it is. And a lot of these students sometimes have no idea what they're doing or if college is right for them. So if you sell yourself as, oh, just a community college, it's just a stepping stone to university, then some students may not take advantage of what community college has to offer as far as not just academia, but character building and learning to work with other people. I think education should stop thinking of learning as a commodity or merely a means to an end. I mean, we should, we should stop uh, standardized testing. I mean, everyone, nobody really likes them. The teachers don't like them. The students don't like them. So many experts saying that 
uh, standardized testing is not beneficial to the students or anyone really. So stop doing test, standardized test. Those have got to stop. I think they should stop giving this test for students to be college ready because sometimes uh, you don't like a subject and it's not your thing so you're not really uh, into that subject so when they test you they tell you you're not college ready and they'll make you take um, more courses than usual and that stops you from getting your education. I think they need to do s s stop the, t the TSI test for older people. I would like to uh, see some changes for the TSI test. Don't, when you fail the test, don't tell me that I gotta take an adult literacy class or I gotta take a GED class. I have my high school diploma and I'm not illiterate. So I think they need to make some changes there. They should stop uh, focusing on things that aren't necessary for higher education. They should focus their funds and their resources for things that actually matter, like programs in the sciences, arts, etc. They stop uh, pushing them getting classes they don't need. I want them to stop doing financial aid verification, making our process longer for us to get into our classes. We should stop um, our financial aid process, not stop it, but we need to reform it because a lot of people have had a lot of problems with getting checks that are for like $700 and then having to return them. I think colleges need to stop asking the wrong questions of the wrong people. We have uh, lots of polls and lots of ways of measuring what students oftentimes think or what students oftentimes feel. Uh, rather than judging what we really need to improve ourselves as instructors and as administrators or as students. A lot of high schoolers especially have that feeling that they're unwanted by the system. And with that, we need to stop that negative connotation that comes with higher education. Stop offering one-day birth of child for employees and start offering parental paid leave for 12 weeks for employees. Stop. Stop having guns on campus. We need to find a way to make that not work. I'm not a big fan of the um, new regulation about um, uh, that's allowing people to bring concealed handgun on campus. You go to college to, to enhance your knowledge. Um, so gun is not something that stand along with knowledge and um, and violence is definitely not a way that educated person they resolve the problem i think we should stop devaluing the role of a good education in a democracy i i'm really discouraged by the the partnerships that we make with corporations um, i don't think all corporations are equally evil um, I don't think they're all evil, period, but I do think things like Subway, having that on campus, I think that it'd be awesome to have food trucks pull up between, say, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you've never had a food truck food before. They're incredible. Um, I think it would create a sense of community. Students would want to be up here. My second stop is we need to stop concentrating on just enrollment numbers as a sign of our success at the college because sometimes more is not better. We need to concentrate more on the quality of our education versus how many people show up. I know it's important, but that's what it is. Okay. I think that Eastfield should stop comparing itself to other colleges. While I know that comparative data is helpful and useful, most definitely, but I think if we would focus more on who we are as Eastfield, what we want to represent, how we want to market ourselves, um, and taking all the unique things about Eastfield that many of us have grown to love and, and be a part of that I think that that might uh, prove to serve us much better in the future. What we should keep doing is embracing the original mission of Eastfield College to be person-centered in meeting our students' needs and preparing them to succeed in the community. Specifically Eastfield College, I think that 
the faculty, the staff, and everyone who works on campus should keep up the hard work. I know that's cliche, but honestly, I've never worked anywhere where everyone is here for the students. Everyone wants to make sure each student can achieve their goals, achieve their dreams, and are willing to put in the grunt work and sweat a little bit to make sure that it happens for these students. Um, I like the um, the effort that faculty and 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 different department in a um, community college um, they doing for um, two years college student to feel like they are very involved. They um, create a lot of activities for us to do and make it an environment almost feel like a four-year uh, school. Um, although with the lack of the funding, I believe, um, the, the faculty have, have played uh, a great part in this. And, and they, they sometimes, I saw some put their own money in and, and serve the student in ways that, that goes out of their um, requirement and they goes above and beyond. And I really, uh, really appreciate that. As for what I feel like they should keep, I feel like they should keep the good teachers. <laughs> the teachers that give you a chance, that love what they do. They're not just there to get a paycheck. Keep funding the graphic design program as much as they can. How am I supposed to say this? Okay. We need to keep the inclusivity culture that is present in the digital media department. I come to school every day and I have for the past few years mainly because I feel completely comfortable in this department. I think that we should keep learning communities in education because they work. One of the things that I think Eastfield College should keep doing is there's this um, writing lab and they like help you write or help you brainstorm with your ideas and I've recently heard of this so I feel like it helps a lot of people especially if you're not good in English or if you're struggling in that class so I think something that's something that we should keep doing. Um, colleges should keep uh, their programs for disabled kids and continue with speech programs and uh, tutoring and more uh, activities that they have for disabled kids. I would like to keep doing the process of making our advisors easier for us to talk to. Um, it can't get any easier pretty much. I love the fact that we don't have to have a permit to park. We need to keep financial aid and we also need to keep free parking. I think they should keep doing financial aid and helping students and programs with like scholarships. They should keep helping students who can't afford it. One thing I hope that education continues to do, one thing I hope that we keep doing is giving kids these opportunities to excel in a variety of different ways. Whether it's offering summer classes or evening classes or dual credit classes while they're in college, exposing them to different avenues that they can see while they're in the comfort of maybe a K through 12 setting so that when they get out into the real world, they see what else is out there. They see what they can do to be successful in their own life. And so I think we've, we've got to make sure we keep the exposure to opportunity alive and well in education. I believe the faculty and staff of Eastfield College should continue to keep reinventing and creating different venues to enrich the student's educational career. I think that we should keep the courses that we have such as like AP and dual credit that allows people in high school, students in high school to get credit. I uh, would like to keep mental health counseling for the students available to them as I am alumni of the district and we did not have me when I was going to uh, actually Richland College and for the future generations I find it very helpful for students to have mental health services as they are experiencing anxiety or depression for the first time in their life and don't know exactly what to do with it. I really love the free popcorn on Fridays. I cannot tell you how much that means to me. It's, it seems, I know it seems really small, but I look forward to every Friday. It's like a mark that my week's almost done. I get great popcorn. This is really good popcorn. Uh, and and I, I look forward to it every week. Things that universities should keep doing is um, the programs to recruit minorities and low-income students. 
Uh, please keep recycling and sustainability projects um, as future generations will benefit from those uh, activities here on campus. We need to keep the campus the way it is. I think our grounds people, groundskeeping people do a fantastic job. The campus is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you hardly ever see like a single leaf out of place. I know it's a lot of work, but I, it means a lot to me to come work at a place that's so pretty. Is what I'd like to see Eastfield keep is how OSER hosts events. They do tours, and I really like that idea. They show the students, like for example, the early high school students, they show them around, and also they give events. That's really good for students that are experiencing stress with tests and projects. I know for my own self that I experience stress because in the di digital media, I have a lot of projects to do. But then when I come and I see an event going on and there's free food and a movie going on and people having fun, that really helps calm my nerves. We should definitely keep and turn up student engagement. So I think that it's something very special um, when students gather and they are social and they are participating in clubs and organizations. So I think if we were to uh, figure out ways where we could increase student engagement and offer up other social areas or environments on campus, that I think that um, we would see a true change in our student culture. Got it, okay. So I would also keep the friendliness of the, of the people. I, the reason I work at Eastfield, because I actually live in Irving, so it's somewhat of a drive, is because I really like the people I work with. I think this is a super friendly place. The students are super friendly, and I, I just it just makes it a, a very, very nice place to work, to come to every day. Start, stop, keep. 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 Empezar. Terminar, mantener.